not exactly a guy who'd get into heaven. So he's got to find a path to redemption. Redemption. An occasion when someone is saved from evil, suffering, etc. The Holy Cross is a Christian symbol of redemption and hope. Redemption can also refer to the act of exchanging bonds, shares, etc. for money. It got mothers of infants to participate directly in a coupon redemption program. I'm sorry, but no. I just think that the entire premise of the story is just punt. Premise. An idea or theory on which a statement or action is based. We don't accept the premise that cutting taxes will increase economic output. I disagree. I thought it made a few nearly profound points for a work of fantasy. Profound. We use profound to emphasize that something is very great or intense. A profound idea, work, or person shows great intellectual depth and understanding. The professor's speech had a profound influence on me. This is a book full of profound, original, and challenging insights. Meaning what? Oh, come on, that stuff's barely literature. Not that it shouldn't be on the syllabus. Americans do write heaps of it. Syllabus refers to an outline or summary of a course of study, including the topics to be covered, the assignments, and assessments required, and any other relevant information, such as textbooks or grading policies. In an academic setting, a syllabus is typically provided by a teacher or professor at the beginning of a course to inform students about what they will be learning what is expected of them, and how they will be evaluated. Which novels are on the syllabus this year? She's got heaps of money, so she purchased an airplane. Our new house is heaps bigger than our last one. Yeah, can't argue with you there. The chorus is American iconoclasts of the short story. An iconoclast is a person who challenges or opposes established traditions, beliefs, or values, particularly in a cultural or religious context. Dean was probably picturing more Hemingway, but hey, I was a last-minute hire. Last minute. Happening or done at the latest possible opportunity for doing something. If you want to avoid the last minute rush, get everything ready now. British officials insisted that the last minute changes were unavoidable. Nadia, you said pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did, To Great controversy. Uh, explain pants to the American, please. <laughs> it's crap. Rubbish. Not good. Crap. Is something that is not worth anything, not useful, nonsense, or of bad quality. There are tricks to being a professor, like this. Say more. Well, well, it's not redemption if it's done for selfish reasons. What does it matter? If he's doing good? Chang isn't actually saying the highest redemption is doing good. He's saying it's just love. Well, most of my professor tricks are one trick. I picked up spending time with a girl named Ellie. Wind them up, let them go. Teenagers will argue both sides for you. Wind them up is an idiomatic expression that means to provoke, irritate, or upset someone intentionally. It can also mean to make someone anxious or angry. The phrase wind someone up comes from the image of winding up a toy or a clockwork mechanism to make it work. When used in a social 
or emotional context. The phrase suggests that someone is deliberately manipulating another person's emotions or behavior to achieve a particular outcome, often for amusement or to gain an advantage. For example, if someone says, don't wind her up, she's already upset. They are warning the other person not to say or do something that might make the upset person more emotional or agitated. I mean, yes, the word love is also used to mean something deeper. Yeah, like feel civilizations, religions, all of literature. Hyperbole. Hyperbole is an intentional exaggeration used for emphasis or effect. Hyperbole is commonly used in literature, poetry, and everyday language to create a dramatic or humorous effect. It can also be used to make a point or persuade an audience by exaggerating the importance or impact of something. For example, I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. It's not meant to be taken literally, but it's used to emphasize how hungry the speaker is. These two are going to kill each other or get married by the end of term. Well, spoken like somebody that's never felt love, so how would you know? Okay, all right, let's pause, table this one. Table. To delay discussion of a subject. The suggestion was tabled for discussion at a later date. Um, everybody read The Telltale Heart and be ready to discuss where Poe lands on what love is, all right? That's all for today. But he's not exactly a guy who'd get into heaven. So he's gotta find a path to redemption. I'm sorry, but no. I just think that the entire premise of the story is just pants. I disagree. I thought it made a few nearly profound points for a work of fantasy. Meaning what? Oh, come on, that stuff's barely literature. Not that it shouldn't be on the syllabus. Americans do write heaps of it. Yeah, can't argue with you there. <laughs> the chorus is American iconoclasts of the short story. Dean was probably picturing more Hemingway, but hey, I was a last minute higher. Nadia, you said pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did, To Great controversy. I explain pants to the American, please. It's crap, rubbish, not good. There are tricks to being a professor, like this. Say more. Well, well, it's not redemption if it's done for selfish reasons. Well, does it matter if he's doing good? Chang isn't actually saying the highest redemption is doing good. He's saying it's just love. Well, most of my professor tricks are one trick. I picked up spending time with a girl named Ellie. Wind them up, let them go. Teenagers will argue both sides for you. I mean, yes, the word love is also used to mean something deeper. Yeah, like feel civilizations, religions, all of literature. Hyperbole. These two are going to kill each other or get married by the end of term. Well, spoken like somebody that's never felt love, so how would you know? Okay, all right, let's pause, table this one. Um, everybody read The Telltale Heart and be ready to discuss where Poe lands on what love is, all right? That's all for today.